Okay, folks, we're going to go through a number of things today. Uh, first of all, if you haven't seen our first video uh, on HARP where we talk about the, uh, the ionosons, the different digisons that HARP has, that's really going to help you understand this video. Uh, first, let's go to this total electron content map, and that's exactly what it sounds like, the total number of uh, electrons uh, that can be found uh, in, our, in our atmosphere, and that's it normally goes up and down on a curve like this. That little, uh, that little dash there is probably the uh, CME that hit us today. Now this measures a total amount of electrons uh, basically times 10 to the 16 uh, electrons per, uh, per square meter. And basically what you're looking at right here, this, this is the last 20 days and this is the highest electron content we've, we've ever seen uh, on a consistent basis, especially uh, during these last two weeks. And you go back uh, the last 28 days, uh, this is more like what we're normally seeing uh, with spikes uh, around, with a, you know a, an average height of around you know 20 to 25. You can see right there on September 26, that's when we had that huge geomagnetic storm, and uh, the spikes uh, like that go uh, go higher than the average. Uh, just about every time we had a geomagnetic storm, you can go back and look at it this way. Um, but you can take this back as far as you want, um, and. Uh, essentially, you're going to see that apart from geomagnetic storms, which uh, have spikes that go higher, uh, the total electron content has been rising and rising and rising. Uh, no real reason to think uh, that's going to stop. Uh, you ever heard the phrase, uh, don't walk around on your bare feet in a lightning storm? Well, that's essentially what's happening. Our atmosphere is getting charged up, which is exactly what we talked about in our last video. Uh, with the digisons, and we'll go back to that here in a bit and show you that as well. But yeah, using that little time uh, counter down there, you can check out any date you want. You can see that uh, you go back far enough, even during solar. Uh, the last solar maximum wasn't the, wasn't as high as it is now. Um, we go and we take a quick look here at our digisons again. If you haven't seen the previous video, might not make a whole lot of sense, but uh, this 500 line right here take it back out you can see we are continuing to have uh, much higher than normal uh, critical frequencies in our F2 layer and we go and we check out our F1 layer you can see that uh, we are still higher than normal as well so once again folks this is tied into uh, potentially global warming potentially uh, even seismic events, this is the fact that our magnetosphere is failing. Uh, more charged particles, more solar plasma is breaking through and getting into our ionosphere. And so uh, that is what it is. If you remember, uh, we had a CME directed at Earth. This is probably it hitting. As you know, it didn't cause a geomagnetic storm. Uh, as you can see there, we had some horizontal disturbance on the flux gate magnetometer. If we come over here to space weather and we check out the telemetry from ACE, we can see at that exact time we had a jump in the temperature, speed, and density of the solar wind. Coming over here to RSOE, all of these uh, little dots up there, that is the snowstorm that has pounded the northeast. Hopefully a couple of people up there will wake up and stock supplies. That uh, might be good for something. They're not out of the woods yet there. In case you didn't know, we have volcanoes around the world that are on alert. They've evacuated people in Chile. Uh, in case you didn't know, the, the Canary Islands volcano uh, has officially been mapped with a new kind of technology and they think it's the first time that a that the birth of a volcano has ever been seen that way. They're also continuing to have concerns in Iceland about the Kotla volcano and we had an eruption last week in Indonesia and uh, they're always watching out for those especially since we're having lots of four and five magnitude quakes over there. And uh, Speaking of quakes, uh, for the next couple of days we are on that Jupiter opposition watch for earthquakes so let's keep an eye out for that. On the financial world a lot of people uh, might know what this issue 2 thing is. It's what happened in Wisconsin where they try to take away negotiating rights of public workers uh, and people don't like it. It's happening now again in Ohio. Essentially what the people need to realize is this is a choice between everyone takes a little cut or you risk having your job cut entirely. That's literally all it comes down to, folks. On a more global scale, uh, it's not up here yet as of 6.30 p.m., uh, but this morning, Fareed Zakaria had, uh, it was Sachs versus Ferguson, two, uh, 
academic heavyweights, if you will, going against each other, uh, talking about how the Eurozone uh, is not safe at all, um, what's really causing uh, inequality in this world. And uh, it's a really great interview, so check out the GPS page uh, whenever, uh, whenever they usually update it, maybe tomorrow. Last but not least, by the time you're watching this, the 7 billion uh, person may have been born on this planet. It is currently uh, about 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. And uh, you got about a couple hours left if you want to watch this. Uh, should be interesting. We'll put all the links below. Be safe, everyone.